Hello, my name is Ponchi, and this video is going to show you how to calibrate the printer. Uh, that's a, on the Z-axis. So, uh, first thing you want to do is uh, push on the knob in the LCD controller. You want to go down to calibrate Z-axis. Push the button again. And uh, first let's move the Z-axis up. Let's turn the knob. And what we want to do here is make sure that you know we've got uh, this line correct. Uh, this is all calibrated uh, when we assemble them. So all that you want to make sure is that these wheels here are all about the same tension. And uh, let me just get this one out of whack here a little bit. So I'm lowering this side, and this probably won't. You probably won't have to touch this, but maybe once. And if you don't move these, you'll never have to mess with it again. But I can see that, uh, let me zoom out here. OK, so what I've done is I've moved this side down. I've just turned it. And so now it's tilted. And so if you check on these wheels, the top one is tight and the bottom one is loose. That's because it's gotten cockeyed. So, zoom out a little bit more here. So that's telling us that we need to make this one a little bit higher. So I'm going to turn this thing. While I'm turning it, I'm going to spin that bottom wheel. And it's just now getting some friction. Okay, now they're, they're about equal now. So you want to make the top and bottom equal. And uh, so now that we know that this is in good shape, next thing you want to do, I'm going to zoom back into the LCD screen. I'm just going to show you the menu functions for the calibration. So hitting the knob again, and we'll scroll down using turning the knob to calibrate Z-axis. And we have move Z-axis, which we've just used. Home Z-axis, if we go down to that and push it, it's going to home the z-axis alone. And calibrate z-axis is the one we're going to use now. And what that's going to allow us to do is by turning the knob, we're going to be able to uh, move this up or down in the software to fine tune that z height. And then once we've done that, we'll push enter and we have to store it to memory so that when we unplug the printer uh, and plug it back in, that we'll have that value saved into the memory of the, of the printer. So I'll store it, and then I can go back and exit. Now I'm going to zoom back the wrong way. And I want to show you how to calibrate this. You should not have to mess with these four screws on the four corners. I have uh, upgraded them for you, those of you who don't have um, the springs on them. Uh, there's a link on my website where you can purchase them. Uh, the springs work much better than the uh, collapsible nylon spacers. Um, and it allows you to screw it down and unscrew it, um, you know, making those fine adjustments. So what I like to do is I, I like to come to uh, you know, this left uh, back corner first. And so uh, I'm going to go to the calibration again in the menu. And I'm going to hit the home Z axis. And I'm going to slide the paper once it's up. OK, and I can see that that is just too loose. So I'm going to scroll down to calibrate Z axis in the LCD screen. Press enter, and because I need to, to come down, I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. Clockwise would make it go up. So I'm just turning it. Let me see if I can get my arm out of the way. And I'm just kind of wiggling this around. When I start to get some tension on the paper, I'm close. So I move back and forth, and that's exactly right. And so now I've got my offset. I'm going to push enter. I'm going to scroll down to store memory, and then I'm going to go to exit. And now 
I'm just going to test that. I'm going to hit the home Z. And as you can see, it's perfect. Now, just for uh, sanity purposes, let's check all four corners. This one has never been calibrated before, so I'm going to have to make adjustments. So you may not have to, but if, if, if it's too tight, you want to screw the, the screw at that corner uh, clockwise. And if it's too loose, you want to do just the opposite, and that will raise the bed. So this one's too tight. So I'm screwing it clockwise. And there I go. Just right. Now this side, you got to be careful. This one's absolutely too high, so my paper is not letting it slide. You can rip your tape too. I'm tighten this one down. Now, this is the initial calibration, so I'm going to go through to each of the four corners again. And I can see that this is just too loose. This happens on the initial one because it's a lot of uh, a lot that I need to adjust that. So I'm going to go back to, I could, I could just raise this one, uh, but it's quite a bit. So I'm going to, you know, I, actually it's not that much. Go ahead and turn. I was going to readjust it in the software, but I think I think I can. make large mo uh, movements on this, like I did up and down, um, kind of affects the other ones. You're not going to need to adjust so much. Okay, just a little tight. That's right. See, this takes a little bit of tweaking, but you want to make sure that you get this right because this is the first layer, and this is what everything builds off of. And if it's too tight, too close to the bed, you can clog up the nozzle, you can block the nozzle with the bed, and it'll cause a jam. That's right. And if you're too high, the parts won't stick. First layer prints a little bit slower, and uh, it needs to be mushed on there so that it will adhere to the bed. So you can see that. Oh, okay. okay. Just a tad. I like having it just right. So I just go ahead and check in the center. I'm going to go to the LCD screen, down to calibrate Z axis. I'm going to home it. And that's pretty good. It's just a hair tight, so I'm going to make this calibration a little bit looser. I'm 
I'm going to calibrate the Z and I'm going to just do the offset here by turning the knob. Just one click. There we go. And I'm going to store that into memory. And once again, I'm going to do the home Z. And that's just perfect. Well, I hope this video has helped you. Uh, this is uh, an upgrade that I just recently did. I think it's much easier than uh, the Hall Effect Sensor, and I think it's more, much more reliable. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the video, and uh, have fun printing. Thank you.